You're watching the Momentum Health Cape Pioneer Trek, presented by Biogen. Now into its ninth edition, the Momentum Health Cape Pioneer Trek, presented by Biogen, is Dryland Event Management's flagship mountain bike stage race. It is a seven day long event which showcases the fantastic scenery, diversity and mountain biking of the Southern Cape, Garden Route and Klein Karoo regions of South Africa's Western Cape Province. For the 2017 event, the race will cover 553 kilometers and challenge riders to conquer 11,420 meters of altitude gain. Famed as a tough but rewarding ride, this is the race with soul. This year's Cape Pioneer Trek starts once more next to the azure waters of the Indian Ocean in Mossel Bay. Unlike previous editions, there is no prologue to ease the riders into the race. First up was a daunting 96 km stage. With riders prepared with trepidation for the challenge ahead, the skies darkened. The usual rituals of applying sunscreen before a long day out in the African bush were rendered void. But other pre-race chores remained unchanged, wolfing down breakfast, making weather appropriate kit choices and performing the final bike checks. I feel good, but uh, I was told it will be sunny today, so I hope we're going to come up and uh, the rain will stop shortly, I hope so, yeah. Well, it is my first Pioneer and I think it's, it's kind of something that you really have to put on your bucket list. I've heard so many good things about it, There's so many different stage races, but a lot of people really put this one at the top as one that you just have to do. So I'm expecting a lot, but nothing's let me down yet. So I've done this race before, I did it in 2011, so back then it was super rough, I'm sure it's going to be similar. Um, yeah, just, I mean, I love that stuff, rough and raw and technical. With a steady drizzle falling, the 2017 Cape Pioneer trek got underway. A neutral zone through the quiet streets of Mossel Bay provided the opportunity for the riders to warm their chilly legs. Um, yeah, we knew it was a long day. Um, obviously, me being a cross-country specialist, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. Um, they are very different to what I'm used to, you know, like the first 40 k's, we sort of all sat together looking at each other, you know, the pace wasn't really that hot, you know, you can see the girls were still with us at that point. While Ellen Hathaly's team Spur compatriot Ariane Luthi and her teammate Amy McDougall were in the lead group, Robin de Groot was struggling with an injury. Unfortunately, with the injury that I've got, the beginning of, of each stage is pretty tough for me. Um, so yeah, it seems to get better as the stage goes on. Um, so yeah, it is a damage control kind of right from the back approach. Meanwhile, at the front of the race, the pace was slowly being ratcheted up by the leading contenders. The pre-race favourites, due to their status as defending champions, were the NAD Pro mountain biking team of Nico Bell and Javi Kombrink. Taking the challenge to NAD Pro are the South African Team Spur Red E combination of Matt Beers and Alan Hatherley. The foreign assault on the race was led by the KMC Fruit to Go team of Bram Ruth and Gerben Moss, the Czech Kelly's Bike Ranch team of Yuri Krivanek and Marek Rauchfus, the KTM Pro team of Manuel Pliem and Moritz Bescher, and their fellow Austrians Lukas Isliter and Sascha Weber riding for Kraft Rocky Mountain. The group split on a section of rocky jeep track, 28 kilometers into the stage. Matt Beers made his way to the front and strung out the pack. NAD Pro, Kelly Bike Ranch, KMC and KTM teams followed the Spur Ready Rider. The African conditions soon took their toll. A rear wheel puncture saw the KTM Pro team drop out of the lead group and out of contention for stage victory. That left the two South African teams and two European teams at the sharp end of the race. The Dutch KMC Fruit to Go team are relative Cape Pioneer Trek veterans though, having completed the two previous editions. But gradually NAD Pro and Spur Ready opened up a slight lead. The typically unsculpted and natural Western Cape single tracks rewarded the familiarity of the local riders. By the end of the first single track section, the South African teams had established a minute lead over their pursuers. Former road racing pro Yuri Krivanek in particular was struggling to stay in touch. Well 
While Spitz was looking to conserve for later in the race, Amy McDougall and Ariane Luthi were driving home their early advantage, extending the gap between Spur Valencia and Ascender's health. It's a team race and you, you have to you have to all look to, for, for your partner and uh, you have to stay together and calm down and try to motivate and um, try to make, give, give her a little bit more protection by the wind. So I guess also with um, getting more into the, into, the, into the stage race, we'll also find uh, the rhythm to, yeah, to, to fight against the other, other girls. Yeah. Amy is super strong in the technical section, so it was really fun flying through that single track section today with her. And yeah, we're very, very pleased to take the stage win. But we, we take it as it comes and really happy um, about our stage win today. On the open roads, the leading four men's teams regrouped with Matt Beers and Nico Bell taking it in turns to set the pace. The Spur Ready and NAD Pro riders made it tough enough to keep the KMC fruit to go and Kelly Bike Ranch riders outside of their comfort zones. Eventually the effort told and entering the Gondwana game reserve about 40 kilometers, the elastic snapped. Jiri Krivanek and Bram Root in particular looked to be struggling while their partners could well have forged on. The Gondwana Private Game Reserve was the main attraction of the opening stage of the 2017 Momentum Health Cape Pioneer Trek presented by Biogen. Boasting all five of Africa's famous Big Five, the reserve provided thrills in 2016 when a juvenile giraffe galloped into the route, joining the lead group between Gerben Moss and Lucas Itlitzer. Fortunately this year the wildlife proved less interested in mountain biking and provided only inspiration for a post-race game viewing visit. In the reserve, the South African quartet continued to work together. With Javi Kombrink appearing to be struggling slightly, it fell to the spur-ready combination to do the lion's share of the work. Matt Beers took up that mantle, slowly building a lead which reached close on a minute near the 50 km mark. Whenever the trails pointed downhill though, the under-23 World Championships cross-country silver medalist Alan Hatherley made his way to the front of the group. Following his fast and smooth lines, the NAD Pro Spur Ready Group continued to extend their lead on the chasing pack. While Marik Rauchfuss tried to bridge the gap, Yuri Krivanek and the KMC riders were unable to follow. Team Spur Ready and NAD Pro forged ahead. Marik Rauchfuss and Yuri Krivanek followed a minute down, while KMC Fruit to Go lost touch and slipped out of contention for third. Brian Root and Gerben Moss were already taking on fuel already planning for the long days ahead, while the leading teams were focused only on the stage battle immediately at hand. A slow front wheel puncture for Alan Hatterley provided Nico Bell and Javi Kombrink with an opportunity to attack. Unfortunately, just before the second uh, water point, my front tyre started uh, going down slowly. Um, but yeah, luckily we managed to get to the tech zone, swap a wheel and then uh, catch up to Nico and Kravi without losing too much time. Hatherley's wheel change highlighted the importance of a support crew in mountain bike stage racing. Behind the leaders, the Kelly's Bike Ranch team were still leaking seconds as Yuri Kivanish could not match his partner's descending skills. In fourth on the trails, Bram Root and Gerben Moss look to be in energy conservation mode. The threat on their position never materialized as Timothy Hammond of Spot Africa in fifth was forced to stop to remove barbed wire from his wheel. In the women's race, the Team Spur Valencia combination of Ariane Luthi and Amy McDougall was time trialing its way to stage victory. With no pressure being exerted on them from Team Ascender's health, it was a mental battle for the leaders to keep their pace up. The largely downhill run in from the halfway point in the stage helped in this regard. But as the day and her muscles warmed, Robin de Groot found it easier to push through her injury and gradually started to reel in the leaders. Back in the men's race, Alan Hatherley explained the decisive move. Sort of the last little kick before you drop down into Muscle Bay, it was about 8 k's to go. 
Um, our plan was to make a move there and uh, Kabi was taking a, a couple shots there so yeah, luckily it made it a little bit easier for us to get away um, and then yeah, I don't really remember the last 8Ks, Matt was, uh, he was the hammer and I was the nail for sure so yeah, no, but happy, happy to have uh, won the stage and yeah, win yellow for tomorrow. Yeah, just on the last, there's a last little kick just before you got under the freeway and then we um, saw that Javi was struggling a little and then just decided to go and try our luck and I know that if we got over that crest down that tar road to the bottom uh, main road into Mossel Bay it would be, it would be sweet and we could take the victory and yeah, it paid off and it worked. When we dropped down into the past the little dam, I had to rock in the grass and I had a slow puncher. So at the top, I finally went flat. So we had to stop as we got onto the tar and I had to bomb it again. Um, but yeah, we lost a bit of time there. Um, luckily, Nico is quite fast in the flats coming back, so we didn't lose too much time. We're normally quite strong uh, as the race goes on. Um, yeah, you, you have your bad days. Uh, I think today was was Harvey's bad day. So let's hope uh, we get, get stronger and uh, we can obviously uh, put a bigger gap in as well to, towards the end of the race. Following Hathalie and Beers over the finish line 55 seconds later was the NAD Pro pairing. Crossing the line in third, 2 minutes 34 seconds down on the leaders, was the Kelly's Bike Ranch team of Yuri Krivanik and Marek Rakfus. While the top five positions were rounded out by KMC fruit to go and the Spot Africa teams. I mean, it's always relative, you know. Um, <clears throat> It can still turn around. Uh, today I felt great. We will see how the week goes. Um, there was definitely, yeah, I was definitely hurting at some sections as well. And yeah, so I, I look forward to what this, uh, the week still holds. Luti and her Spur Valencia teammate Amy McDougall established a 3 minute 47 seconds lead on their nearest rivals, Team Ascenders Health, with a commanding stage victory. The John Toe Ladi Team Cape Brewing Company and Anderson Transport rounded out the top five. Stage two of the Momentum Health Cape Pioneer Trek presented by Biogen features a punchy 71 kilometer route, circling out and back again from Mossel Bay.